Hello and welcome back to Fact Me Up channel. In today's video, we're going to do something different, and instead of the usual facts, we're going to unpack 15 of the most memorable and cleverly disguised references sprinkled throughout the beloved How I Met Your Mother series. So grab your yellow umbrella, because it's going to be legend, wait for it, dairy. Did you break us up too? Stop talking to me like I'm your enemy. Answers. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! You weep for these women, but you have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That those breakups, while tragic, probably saved you from a crappy and very expensive first marriage. You weep for Santiago and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. That Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. You break me and Robin up. You don't want the truth, because deep down you want me out there watching out for you. And deep down you know that none of those women were ever going to be the mother of your children. Did you break... You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Me and Robin up. I did what I had to do. Did you break me and Robin up? I did. What I did. <laughs> did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you, you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did. So, let me ask you a few questions, Clarice, Patrice. <laughs> How would you rate your performance in the last six months? Well, I don't like to talk about myself, but all my co-workers deserve an A double plus. That's for sure, Z. Ooh, fancy lotion. They put the lotion in the basket. It places the lotion in the basket. <gasps> Please. <gasps> Please. <laughs> Oh, I go home, please. Please. It places the lotion in the basket. What's the fucking lotion in the basket? Got another one. Oh, boy. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Right? Brad Pitt? Seven? Nothing? Yeah, I'm the jerk. What's in the box? I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, baby. It seems that envy is my sin. Oh, what's in the box? Not till you give me the what's gun. in the fucking box? Even he was afraid of me. But I didn't say Grinch. I said a bad word. A very, very bad word. Oh, fudge. But I didn't say fudge. Man! Oh, for one brief moment, I saw all the bolts silhouetted against the lights of the traffic, and then they were gone. Oh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. Followed by an hour of you getting drunk and pretending to be in The Departed. You know what? I'm sorry, <laughs> Lily. Okay, but I just need to know, are you a cop? I'm not a cop! Are you a I'm not a cop! Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait a second. Is she a cop? I think she's a cop. Did you know she was a cop? I didn't know she was a cop! <laughs> no! Are you still a cop? No! No! Swear on your mother's grave, you're still not a cop! I am not a fucking cop! Hello! My name is Sinigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die! My name is Rodrigo de Goya. You killed someone I love. Prepare to dance! Hello! My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die! No! Oh, Captain, my Captain! How 
good was Dead Poet Society? I know, right? The end, tears. Captain, my captain. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. You hear me? Sit down. Sit down! I am not scared of your shining impression. I just don't need to hear it, especially at night. Danny's not here, Mrs. Torrance. Please don't do that. Remember what Mr. Halloran said? It's just like pictures in a book, Danny. It isn't real. Are you really a Vikings fan, or was he lying about that, too? Why? Is this a trap? Are you a Packers fan? My wife knows I'm here. She doesn't have money, but what she does have is a very special set of skills. I can tell you I don't have money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. No, not again, not this year. You're going as my wingman. Flight suit up! No thanks, I'm sticking with the hanging chad. Oh, you're dangerous, Maverick. Your ego's writing checks your body can't cash. <laughs> okay. You are still dangerous. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Yeah. Every night, when I go to sleep, it's the freest, most wonderful feeling in the world. I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> so that's how I go to bed every night. I don't care. I am going into that bedroom because this is my home and I have to defend it. But mostly because my allergy medication is in there! That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! <laughs> My son. Barney, enough with the floating Jor-El head from the Fortress of Solitude and Superman, okay? It's getting old. I only use it to say really important stuff. Last time you used it to tell me Wendy's had introduced a spicy version of the Baconator. Exactly. My son. You do not remember me. I'm Jorel. I'm your father. 